the Supercross. Um, I am, like I said, actually, I did finish the West Coast Series on the 250 class. Now I'm 250 East Coast Series. And we have five more races to go. We are currently in first place in the points. So let's try and get that championship. Let's get that silverware. And let's move on to the big bikes. Let's go 450. Um, haven't yet decided which bike I want to go with. Right now I'm on the Yamaha 250F. So we're going to continue from there and we'll see what happens. We still have a lot more season left. Um, but f FYI, I will be, I'm actually in the process right now as we speak on getting OBS to run so I can start streaming, have my overlay so you can see all my social networks. Um, so do stay tuned for that. I plan on hopefully having that up by sometime this week coming. Um, I, I'm not sure which day, um, just because I, I actually do have my daughter on the weekend, so I'm not going to plan on being on or broadcasting, so if you, if you do miss this broadcast, I'm sorry, but I should be on maybe Sunday sometime in the afternoon. I'm, I'm not sure what time, um, but yeah, let's, let's continue on with the stream. Manchester United, they, they should have fucking won against Sevilla. That's what I like to see. Uh, and of course, it's fucking raining like every year. Nice, 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 nice. Ride that, ride that. Ooh, perfect. Little whoop section here. into a rhythm section. I fucking sucked on that one. Everyone's gonna take that inside. Almost set me up outside to inside deal. And hug inside. Cause that guy's gonna always end up. Inside again. Drift around it. This is gonna be a good spot to fight for. But... Obviously, I didn't fight good enough there. A um, little step-up action. Should actually probably scrub that. And save a lot more time in the in the events, the, the heat races, and the main event. Um, I should actually probably try and do that in the next lap or so. Is start making faster lap times. Just learning the track as it is right now. It is a little slippery out, so find out how we could get our rhythm back, from, especially from the last race where we came out with the W. Probably going to have to scrub that as well, but that'll be a lot easier on the big bikes, as we'll actually be able to get onto the table more. Inside. I need to figure out that rhythm section. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to have to hug it inside, of course. Go inside on this one. Inside again. Going to lose a lot of time with this drifting just because of traction. But that's okay. I'll plan on riding this berm right on the wall. There should be a way to fucking scrub that at the lip. Um, so I will be trying that here soon. Um, hopefully within the next lap or so. We are currently sitting in third place for qualifying. Now we're in fourth. I have come to conclusion though. Everyone on the West Coast class, uh, West Coast lights was horrible. Uh, they were just slower. This East Coast Lights is a lot faster, that's for sure. Um, so it's putting up more of a fight. Not much, but still is. I believe I have my difficulty on 
hard right now, so I might even switch it up to realistic AIs, so they actually fight with me for positions. Right now they don't really fight a whole lot, they're just trying to knock your ass over. Then go inside, so he's going to grab it, but I'm going to shut the door. Get it right there, just perfect, right the berm. Good, he's gonna close that, but I don't wanna go inside. Alright, I cannot do that in the fucking race, because it's just gonna take down so much time and they can close gaps if I'm in first. Currently sitting in third place for qualifying. And if you guys have paid more attention to my channel, Overwatch, I should be playing Overwatch all next week, um, I believe the new character does come out. Um, from what a lot of my friends say that played on PC, is that it should be out either by this following week or the next, which hopefully it is this week, because everyone wants to play the new character. So let's hope. Let's hope if you guys are into Overwatch that she does come, and you're and you are on console. Um, Everyone on PC is lucky they get to play in the P the PTR. Alright, so I can scrub it, but it's gonna look like shit, of course. Um, Sitting in fourth place still, I cannot find my rhythm a whole lot. Uh, especially when I eat shit like how I just did. It's never gonna work out too well. This much is just slowing me down completely. Usually I'm running hot laps, but of course this track is in Florida, so it always rains around this time of year. What the fuck was that kind of scrub? I, I bet I could save it. I bet I could save it. Hold on. There we go. Okay. So I got, I'm going to have to scrub it just like that. Now I'm sitting in fifth place for qualifying. Back and forth. Let's let's see if I could get better than fourth though. I think I could get maybe third or second. But we're gonna find out. I could probably quad that, actually. Um I just gotta figure out how these guys are running their lines. I need to triple that. I definitely need to triple. That is a fucking must. And I cannot be sliding too much. Traction's already down the shitter due to the rain and mud. So I'm really gonna have to knuckle down and 
definitely try and keep as much grip as possible. Uh, and as you see how wet it is, I was slid on my ass. That was just a fucking horrible try and scrub it. Seriously. We're four seconds down from third place, so I think I could definitely try and make a big dent. All right, so he's trying to fuck me. Quad that, but well, that's okay. I bet I could triple that in and triple out. I need to figure out how to get that triple though. I am liking this game more than the MX vs. ATV games. Um, definitely because you actually have more control over the bike, which is amazing. It's more realistic. The mud actually does slow you down quite a bit, and tough bucks are hard as shit, uh, apparently. I might only get fourth for a call fine. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to try and get that quad. It isn't working out too well for me right now. We're definitely going to try and get it. I got that triple. Stop scrubbing on that one. All right, got first place. Nice. But it's only a second ahead of second place. That is definitely my quickest section right there. That is by far.
I think it's safe to say that we could actually actually just go back to the pit and wear down the time. Um, I think we have enough that we could actually say we just got the pole position, but not too sure. It's only a second difference, um, which I hope Osborne did not get, which he did not get. So we're going to be in heat one, guys. Well, that so that's that's fucking great. Um, I wish there's a way we could put a trials tire on to stop the SN from sliding out so much. But at the end of the day, you can't, um, which really sucks. But let's let's go on to the heat race. Let's let's get let's get podium on heat race, and then let's go to the main. Let's go kick some ass. And let's get it done. It is a shame what happened to Ken Roxon though, uh, breaking, I think, several bones in his hand. Um, I do hope we get to see him in the outdoor season, because pretty much his indoor season's already gone due to his injury. So hopefully we will see him in outdoors. And he could be in competition with Ryan Dungey. I, I do like Ryan Dungey. I, I do think he is still a little timid in a way. You know what I mean? Because you can't replace the GOAT, which is Ricky Carmichael. You cannot replace him. A, a person with that much skill and determination, you just cannot replace it. Um, Ryan Villapoto wasn't Here a huge fan, and James Stewart was time. not a huge fan of. Um, so... That's why I pretty much follow um, Ken Roxon and Ryan Dungey. I'm a big fan of Chad, Chad Reed as well and Mike Gillespie, but Mike Gillespie's a little shithead. Um, Chad Reed is probably one of the best sand riders in the world by far, next to Kevin Windham. Um, but they aren't the GOAT. So, that being said, it's crazy to see the Deegans are coming back into motocross. Um, compared to when their dad went to freestyle motocross. Um, but that that's a good thing. At least the Deegans are, are making a comeback to motocross. Um, I know Deegan's daughter is racing... Uh, NASCAR or some shit like that but apparently she's doing good in those rankings that she's in so we'll probably be seeing her more and more we'll probably be seeing uh, Brian Deegan's son as well what game are you playing? huh? What game are you playing? What, what game are you playing? Dickhead, what game are you playing? JB. What game are you playing? Oh, you switched already to GTA right away? Damn. That was quick. I don't think the 250s can do that fucking triple that pisses me off. Oh yeah, you're doing that clutch, that's right.
They still can't see you. It's, well, if they're really good, they're gonna find out where you are sooner. But they're scrubs. Yeah. It's gonna take them a while. Yeah, but you're, you're losing, you're losing a lot of damage with the suppressor on it. Oh really? Yeah, a lot of damage. Yeah, I knew that. So we are sitting in first place with Cameron McDowell, or however the fuck you pronounce his name. Don't really care. And yeah, I did that too, so what I'm shooting, they can't hear my name. You know what I mean? I'm not Well, they could hear it still, but it's not as loud. Trust me. You'll get bored 